you look what's going on in other states, they're, they're letting hysteria drive them to doing really damaging things. We thought that people had learned. They're closing schools. They're doing things that uh, should not be done. And that is not the way uh, you, you deal with this. And so, you know, we are 100% committed to making sure uh, that people are able to live their lives, that our kids are able to get an education, uh, that people's businesses are able to, to operate, and that people have jobs. And so that is just non-negotiable, and you got to do it. And when, when Joe Latipo first came on board in September, you know, he said that, um, that there's no place for fear when you're doing doing the policy. You got to you got to deal with this rationally. I think that, uh, particularly given the clinical profile so far of Omicron, there's not justifiable to let fear overwhelm you. I mean, this is something where you know we're seeing uh, dramatically less clinical uh, results, negative clinical results compared to what we saw uh, with Delta. Um, it doesn't mean that we don't want to do all we can to help the people um, who, who need the help. And that's why we're doing this. That's why we set aside so much money. That's why we've mobilized and done all the things we do and we'll continue to do more as the federal government empowers us uh, to be able to do it. But man, you can't let, let go down that road because that is a road they're just never gonna be able to get out of that rut. And it's just gonna continue to hurt a lot of people and it ain't gonna do anything you know, to slow down or to stop a incredibly contagious airborne virus. I mean, come on. And so we're, uh, we're gonna be there for folks. We're gonna make sure, but as, as Joe Latipo said, that's across the board. Uh, kids that are in school thriving means a healthier community. People that can put food on the table means healthier families. And so we're not gonna waver on that. We were, uh, uh, my wife and I were able to come down uh, on New Year's Eve, go visit Hard Rock Stadium. People were having a good time. Uh, and they were um, they were living their lives, and so we've got to continue to do that. Um, and you can't let any type of, of hysteria undercut uh, the the normal functioning of society. Okay, with that, yes, sir.